Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So, um, I have like this whole list of videos I want to make, and then I never end up putting them, <laughs> getting through with them because I've just been so busy with so many things happening in my life and, and so many transitions and things, new projects, new. Um, journeys and things like that that are happening and uh, anyway so I really wanted to I thought it was important to post this video because I wanted to talk a little bit about the dark night of the soul uh, I'm sure that there's tons of material you can go like google it go look on there's I'm sure there's like a million videos on YouTube about it but um, I just wanted to give my take on that so um, as humans we tend to like to avoid to deal with things we don't want to feel uncomfortable we like to um, you know just kind of avoid anything that makes us uh, brings up any kind of pain or shame or any uh, uncomfortable feelings we just will like stuff that and cram it right underneath there and not deal with it um, so what will happen is you will go through a lifetime of that and you uh, we all have like our true essence our self um, within us and who that person is um, this is really hard because I have to look here for this camera and I'm used to like looking straight ahead for the camera but anyways um, so we stuff it inside and we have like we have our essence and we're born when we're children as babies we're born with your essence and who you are and you don't care about what other people think of you uh you just you are you are who you are but then as you get older whether it's through your up uh, your childhood um upbringing like your parents or siblings or friends school work all those things as you progress just put another layer of like shame or all these other different things over your essence and it just gets covered and you experience a lot of pain and hurt and all these different things some people more than others um but despite all that everyone is going to have something that is blocking their true essence of who they are so eventually what happens is you'll go through life avoiding dealing with these things you'll just stuff them um in uh we just we refer to it as stuffing it the frozen feelings in psychotherapy that you just stuff it in the back uh, of the freezer and you don't deal with it you just put it in a deep freezer and forget about it <laughs> so eventually all of this accumulation or holding back is gonna affect you so there'll be a point a point in your life where it's just not your model is not working out for you anymore the way of your life is not working out the way you've tried to be something or someone that you're not and not living your true essence and hide all those feelings and the frozen uh, those frozen feelings in the freezer the way you've tried to do that all this life and try to like basically skim by life trying to be this person who you thought you were while avoiding all those important parts of you and who your true essence is eventually will catch up to you and it'll reach you'll reach a point in your life where the universe or your higher self or uh, is just gonna like basically like nah we're not gonna have this anymore <laughs> and it's like it's then that's when you start to experience the dark night of the soul <laughs> the dark night of the soul feels like everything is going wrong for you and that um all of a sudden work is not good for you relationships maybe you're just feeling all this depression maybe you have maybe you're even having like tons of like health problems and it's just like you just feel like you're having like non-stop bad luck and even though you try to like do some good stuff for you, just like have one thing after another that seems to be really negative, like happening in your life. And I, I don't want like to use the word negative, but it's just something that doesn't seem very happy and good. Um, so these things keep happening in your life one after another, and it just feels like super overwhelming. Um, and it'll happen different for different people so part of the reason that'll happen all at once is because you have been avoiding and resisting you're resisting it so it's coming up to the surface and you're resisting so the resistance is what causes 
all these things to happen and push back and be like it erupts like a volcano because there's like friction happening from your resistance your denial of your true essence your denial of those pain feelings that you have within and all those those traumas emotions and things that you've had in the past that you will not deal with the denial of that and them coming up and surfacing and wanting to is causing this friction and it causes like an eruption and you now all of a sudden are in the dark night of the soul um, it can happen more than once in your life, um, but generally it happens, there's a major one that happens when you will start to shift, if you start to shift. The, pro the thing is that some people will avoid forever, they will avoid their shit forever because they don't want to deal with it because the idea of dealing with their inner shit is just way too scary. People don't want to be vulnerable, they don't want to be vulnerable, they don't want to be open, they don't want to do all those things but it is in your vulnerability that you can actually make your true essence come out and be open and raw and allow those feelings to come through and sit with them um and so your dark night of the soul will happen and it'll just feel like all this like bad stuff's happening you might feel super depressed you might um all these like negative okay all these dark feelings will come up and you'll just keep pushing them back so the more you resist it the longer it'll keep happening, the longer you're you're gonna just prolong the dark night of soul, like that experience in your life. The more you resist um, the inner shit that you have to deal with, the more this will just keep going on. Um, so you have to be able to deal with that. And I've made videos about it, about dark and light. Um, dealing with those dark emotions is not negative and it's not bad and we have been made to feel like that all those emotions are negative and bad but they're not they're not bad at all and it's important to deal with those emotions because you know we are aspects of dark and we are aspects of light together and they combined they are combined sorry, combined they make who we are um, we are not just all like light we are light but we need the dark because that is the contrast and if we don't have the contrast then we don't know what we want we don't know what is good you need that contrast and this helps guide you towards this part if you have this part to guide you otherwise <laughs> um in this 3d reality it's just not something that can exist i don't even think it can exist anywhere to be honest with you but um anyways those dark emotions are not something bad um and um, when you feel pain and shame, you have to honor those feelings and yourself when you were feeling those things and heal them. You need to heal those wounds. There's many ways you can heal those wounds. But anyways, uh, I don't want this video to be about how to heal those wounds. I can make a separate video about that or you can message me if you want to talk about that. Um, but the dark night of the soul is basically a period of time in your life that feels like you just are having the worst luck with everything and uh, you can it could be experiencing some really like bad things um, in your um, personal life it can be um, like I said it could be things happening with your work relationships friendships um, your health um, and like I said your emotions you could be feeling like some really bad depression and just like all these different things that are happening to you or at you or um, you're just kind of in this like flow and that what I said is the eruption it was the eruption from the resistance of you denying those feelings and them trying to push up and then that friction from that and that brings about the dark night of the soul so it can last a few months it can last for years um, depending on you and um, the, if you want to acknowledge those wounds and you want to start doing like your healing journey and things like that um, and here's the thing the interesting thing about dark night of the soul you might feel like during your dark night of the soul that things are like kind of all working out like you'll get like a string of bad luck then you'll be like oh this is like you know things are good I'm really starting to like you know move along fine here things are looking up for me and things like that and then all of a sudden poof, something else happens um 
the reality is that you can just put a band-aid on something and try to like move on from that but if you don't actually get dirty deep and dirty into that and just like rip it apart and really really like examine all those past experiences and feelings and emotions that you're storing you've been storing for however old you are that many years inside of you like think about what's become with those emotions you know like so um if you don't actually get into those emotions and and the emotions that the underlying emotions are are shame uh, shame is a a really really big emotion to sit with um, and you know feelings of abandonment um, like pain from from that from any kind of hurt from not having someone from not feeling safe there could be like a variety of different emotions that stem that have different threads from but at, at the root of it all they're just really 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 heavy dark emotions that we carry with us within everyone does and you need to be able to go down and, and really examine that. We have to go within and be introspective. And you'll find that during a dark night of the soul, when things are going wrong, that uh, some people might try to like, all of a sudden, want to cram like all these things into their schedule. I just need to be busy or I just need new projects. I need a new, I need something new in my life. And they just like want to do all these new things and want to take a new direction or want to cram like experiences and f like friendships into their lives or whatever it is. The all these things are just denial and you'll just basically replace like all those things with addiction. So addictions will all of a sudden start to thrive and I don't just mean drug addiction. There's addiction to different things. There's addiction to um like experiences there's addiction to money there's addiction to working there's addiction to um sex there's addiction to um like binging on netflix or even social media and things like that when those things start to like overtake your life and and you need to cram as much experiences and, and things to like basically distract you that's all you're doing is you're trying to distract yourself from like that shit that's coming up saying yo we need to fucking deal with this um so um, you'll find that people are doing that when you should be doing the opposite. You should be going within and seeking out things. Um, you need to be, there needs to be some, some type of, um, you need to go within. That journey is a journey that you have to do alone. You can help, you can have help from uh, an energy healer or um, a psychotherapist, uh, any kind of therapist. And um, or if you want to go see like someone, a spiritual person that you need to talk to, um, I do highly recommend to see a professional and not necessarily a friend um, because it's a little bit different um, when it's a friend and they can offer you support, but it's just not the same thing. Um, but it's a healing journey you do on your own and you can have people to help you and guide you, but you have to do the journey on your own. And for some, for most people, it's incredibly scary um, to tap into that because they're not, they don't know what they're going to open up once they open up that box of hurt inside. And it can be like a flood of really bad emotions. Not bad, sorry. I don't like the word. It's not bad. It's just a flood of a lot of repressed emotions that you need to deal with. Um, but the alternative is to not deal with it and then you're just going to have shit for the rest of your life because you're going to have moments of like happiness just little bursts but then poof, everything's gonna crush down on you again and you're just gonna keep having these cycles of bad things happening to you because you don't want to deal with it um and it can actually like get worse it can really affect your health you can get like diseases and things like that from holding all that all those emotions inside um uh so it's important to to deal with it and to allow them to come through and and to heal them and and to give them space to give them space allow them space to be there and say like hey i felt this when this happened and that's important that's important that i felt this and it's okay it's okay and i'm safe now i am safe i have given myself a safe space that is full of love and all those things so you just need to be able to get to that place um and it's not like a short journey it's quite uh, extended journey that is continuous for the rest of your life but uh, like I said the alternative is to not be able to be free from that because those feelings are essentially your shackles and will hold you 
back from being the best version of yourself that you can possibly be and experiencing those best emotions that you can possibly feel that are true and authentic and that radiate your true essence. And that's why it's really important to to deal with all of those things. Um, but I want to, I just wanted to talk about the dark night of the soul because I know that with the uh, shift in energies right now that are happening, um, that it's kind of like a lot of people are being thrust into the dark night of the soul and they don't really know what's happening and they just feel like they're having like a shitty bad luck in their life and that things are going like wrong. Um, but it's like, it's much more than that. It's much deeper than that. And I just want to be able to give people some guidance towards that. And the first step is to recognize what you're going through and to acknowledge it. And then you have to make a serious commitment to want to like, to want to help yourself. And, and that means to heal and to address those wounds and to go really deep within yourself and, and really um sit with love and patience and kindness and compassion towards yourself your inner child and all those things and heal that and allow it to come through and and um it'll change everything for you it it really will change everything for you um and i just want i just want to be able to um let people know about that and hopefully give people the tools to um to really do that inner work uh, for themselves so that we can all be um, really, really loving, healthy individuals who uh, have um, these wonderful, vibrant um, essences that are like coming through and think how much we can co-create our own lives. Um, that'll be much more um, beneficial to uh, a utopian society or any, leading towards that i mean i don't think we'll ever have a utopian society um right now on earth but i mean we can definitely move towards that i mean we have way too many people who are wounded right now who are not who are just acting um defensive uh hostile um angry um and not like it's misdirected anger because anger anger is not a bad a negative emotion by any means but misdirected anger can be something that can be negative because it's could be um when you're feeling all these like wounds inside and um, pain and different things and so you misdirect your anger and you lash out at people that is misdirected anger and um so what we have so much of that going on right now and people are incredibly defensive because they're hurt they have so much hurt they have so much hurt and pain and confusion and all these things inside of them and no one is telling them about it and how to heal it and what to do with it so we're just like people are running rampant just being really shitty to each other um and it translates to being shitty to themselves really because it's like if you were if you loved yourself and you were in a good place um energetically um then you wouldn't treat people like that that's the bottom line the bottom line is you wouldn't have like all this hate and hostility towards other people if if you had a really good relationship with your inner um your essence of who you are and you know you're really connected with your inner child your higher self and all those things you just wouldn't treat people like that you would have compassion and empathy and things like that and the only way to have empathy and compassion is to connect with yourself so all these people that are disconnected with self causes really a, a disconnect with everyone else um so connection with self equals connection with everybody else and that is the most valuable currency that exists <laughs> so please 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 um educate yourself uh learn all you want about um the dark night of the soul and how we can heal uh our uh our wounds and get to our true essence um if there is anything that you wanted more me to elaborate more on by all means put it in the comments otherwise um i really really hope that you can i hope this really really resonates with uh you and i really hope that you can take that information and really sit with it and go in with it and maybe just make some decisions for yourself that are super important that are for you for you and only you and nobody else but you because that is really important and i really want you to do that so um Anyways, I hope you're having a beautiful day and I hope that you are um, taking some time to 
uh, really honor and value yourself and love yourself and enjoy the rest of the day. Have a brilliant um, journey and I will talk to you soon. Anyways.